I want to go back and talk about solving logarithmic equations. This stuff shows up on the uh, multiple choice section of the AP Calculus exam. Plus, you have to um, uh, plus you have to uh, be able to use this um, as you do the free response part of the AP exam. So let's just go over a couple of problems. Let's start with with this one, if you don't mind. What I'm going to do here is this. We have e. Remember, e is a number, right? E is a number, right? E is not a, well, e is not a variable. E is a number. So we're going to treat it like a number. So we have e to the 2x is equal to 9. So first thing I'm going to do is, is take ln. I'm going to take ln of both sides, right? Somebody asked me today, they said, why do you have to take ln of both sides? Well, it goes back to these... Um, Equality rules of algebra. So we took ln of one side, we have to take ln of the other. If you don't mind, I'm going to translate ln to log base e, right, of e to the x power. Here, on this, I don't need to do that. I can if you want me to, but I don't really need to do it here because it won't help me much. Remember that we can take just take a look at this for just a second. Um, and what I want to do is, I just want to simplify this one part here. So what I want you to look at is this. I'm not solving this. I'm simplifying this thing right here. And to simplify this, remember what the question is. The question is here. The question is here is e to what power is e to the x? I'm sorry, this is 2x. It was 2x. Well, the answer here is just this 2x, right? e to the 2x is equal to e to the 2x, so this side simplifies to 2x, doesn't it? Is equal to ln of 9. So far, so good. Um, here, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2. So we get x is equal to my division by 2. I'm going to call that 1 half here. And I'm going to call that ln of 9. All right, sorry. Someone at the door, actually. Now what I'm going to do with this, I want to use as many of the rules of logarithms as I can. And I happen to remember this one. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take this 9 out, if you don't mind. And I'm going to replace my 9 with 3 squared. And I think we can agree that 3 squared is 9, isn't it? And then if you remember your rules of logarithms, we can take this piece out right here and bring it down here. So if you don't mind, that gives us this x is equal to 2, isn't it? 2 times this 1 half ln of 3. Yeah? And I think that you can see that all simplifies out because obviously 2 times 1 half is 1. So x is equal to, whoops, sorry. So x is equal to ln 3. All right? Okay. So there's our first problem, and I, I think that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense to you. Okay, so let's see the next problem that we have to look at. The next problem asks us to simplify this. So let's look at this problem. Whoops, move this page down here. I'm asking us to simplify this. 2, yeah, ln of e to the 5x, right? So we're supposed to simplify that. And this is actually not hard, difficult at all. You just have to remember some rules here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, frankly, is I'm going to use the rule that we just used. I'm going to use it backwards. I'm going to send this back up here, right? And I'm going to say that ln of e to the 2 times 5, 10x. Yeah? The 10x. And then what I'm going to do is, if you, don't, if you can't see this, because we know that ln means lo is translated to log base e, right? That's the definition of ln, is log base e. So ln is log base e of e to the 10x power. And again, it goes back to the question. This says e to some power is equal to 10, is equal to e to the 10x. So the answer here is simply 10x. All right, 
or 10x is our answer. Okay? All right, one last one really, really quickly, and I think that that should, should be suffice it to give us some help in how this stuff works. And just screwing around and using these rules. The next one is another ln problem. And it is ln, what is it? ln of x squared is equal to 6. Okay? For a second. Again, going to translate this out, right? Going to translate this a little bit just so I can use it. That we know, again, that ln of x is exactly the same as log base e of x, in this case of x squared, is equal to 6. I'm asking you to buy along with me that these are exact equivalents, right? I just substituted one for the other. Now I'm going to take this. This is in logarithmic form. I think we can agree. And I'm going to put this into... exponential form, right? So I'm going to change to expo form, right? How do you do that? Remember, it's base times exponent is equal to this, right? So what we'll get here is e to the sixth power is equal to x squared, all right? And then I'm going to do what is exactly what you think I'm going to do here. I just lose, <laughs> lose my place on the page. Okay, I'm going to take the square root of both sides, obviously, right? Square root of both sides. And we get x is equal to the square root of e to the 6th power. And, of course, you can substitute this. You can simplify this out a little bit more, okay? Good work.